What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a scuba tank, but before I do, I'd just like to say disclaimer, uh, this is really dangerous, so I would not recommend doing it. You are dealing with drowning and pressure from the ocean and in tubes of, made out of plastic. Like, this is not safe, and I don't think it's safe, so I would not recommend doing it, but I do think it'll be a really cool experiment, so I'm going to test it out myself. Don't try this. Uh, by yourself or and you just don't don't do it okay anyway let's get to it the materials you're gonna need are gonna be a backpack or something that you can wear this is just a camelback I'm gonna see if I can strap the whole system to this you're gonna need probably about 20 pounds of weight. This is only a 10 pound. You're gonna need a four inch end cap. This flexible piping, which is uh, one half inch. Two one half threaded valves. Nylon tie downs. Um, I'm just gonna be using these for the nylon string and maybe this system. I'm also gonna be attaching clips to them. One large four inch ABS tube one small feet quarter inch elbow, one bike pump valve, you can buy these at an auto shop, five one half to three quarter inch adapters, large four inch to three inch adapter, one three inch to one and a half inch adapter, one one and a half inch to half inch threaded adapter, sealant, optional spray paint, and thread tape. Oh, and of course, you're gonna need three quarter inch PVC pipe. To start off, I'm gonna attach my threaded bits with this thread tape. The only reason I've decided to use threaded pieces is because it's easier to put together, I feel like they make a better seal, and if any part breaks, I don't have to replace the whole system. I can just unscrew it, take out a little piece, and then replace that. Now that I've finished with that, I'm just going to take some 60 grit sandpaper and rough up everywhere that I'm going to be gluing together so it has more to adhere to and will make a better bond. When sanding, remember not to sand too much. If you sand too much, then the pieces won't fit together as well. You just wanna sand enough that it'll adhere better. Now that I've finished with that, I'm going to be trying to attach my backpack. I'm gonna use zip ties to aid me in this. Next step of the process is just to glue everything together. I'm going to go into a well ventilated area and glue everything. I'm going to be using this PVC pipe cement. Make sure you read the instructions. Mine says that it cures within 10 minutes, but it won't reach full hardness until 24 hours. Part of the process is to drill and tap a hole so I can install this bike valve. So I have a 1 4th tap, which means I'm going to have to drill a 7 16 hole and then tap that. Also, while you are waiting for glue to dry, do not put any pressure or air through the system until 24 hours has gone by. The longer you wait, the stronger the glue will bond and if you try to put pressure through it, it'll just make little holes that air will seep through later. When you're threading the hole, make sure that you drill the hole level and thread the hole level. Also, insert the thread, thread a little bit, take it out, clear out the debris, and then do it over. You don't want to thread the hole all at once. 
Now that you've finished the tank itself, it's time to work on the backpack part. I'm going to attach the 20 pounds of weight using zip ties to the two sides. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have the backpack as low as you can get it on your body so that this tube sticking out the top is able to easily go into your mouth. Once you do that, you're going to take your cord, you're going to measure it about where your hip is, and then you're going to line that up. Then you're going to sew it or attach it somehow to the backpack. Once you've done that, attach the long part of the nylon cord onto this or the opposite side of the backpack, leaving this bit hanging down the middle. Once these two are secured, you are able to un open this latch and pull this part down, which will tighten it against your waist. Don't cut off the extra strand. Just sew whatever you need to sew to the material and leave this hanging. I'm just gonna saw off these little hooks. just put it on. I left a little slack here and then I'm going to measure it over to the other side and mark it right now. That way I know where I want to sew onto and if anyone larger wants to wear this or if maybe I get larger or I want to cinch it tighter then I have this excess that I can then cinch it with. At this point the tank is functional and you can use it the way it is. I just have a few more modifications that I'd like to do before I actually use it. The first modification is, this is the old mouthpiece. I don't really like this. It works perfectly fine, but it's hard and it doesn't, it doesn't feel right in my mouth. So I've taken apart this old snorkel just for this mouthpiece, and I'm going to use exactly the same method I used for this, but I'm not going to have this part, I'm going to have this instead. This is perfect size to fit into the 3 4 inch tube and it'll work exactly how I want it. Next, the tube itself is hard. So I'm going to put foam on the parts that are coming in contact with my back or my tailbone and make those softer so it's more comfortable to use. Then I'm going to spray paint the whole system. All of this is not necessary, but I would recommend it if you have the materials to do it. So for the mouthpiece, I've just taken the reducer and a part of PVC pipe sticking out of it and attached the mouthpiece. This works perfect. So for the foam, I'm going to take some of this EVA floor mat foam and I'm just going to place it in areas that are poking onto my back. I've marked those out. Those are there and there. And I'm just going to put duct tape around them because zip ties get pokey when you cut them and duct tape just works better. Now that I finished that, I'm just going to go spray paint it matte black. Then everything will actually be totally done. I'd like to remind you, if you do in fact make this, don't use it under depths of 10 feet. 10 feet is really deep and there is a lot of pressure. There is internal pressure on these plastic pipes that is going to be pushing out and pressure from the water that's gonna be pushing down. This is extremely dangerous. Also, don't use this system for a couple of days. Once it's been 24 hours, flush air through the whole tank multiple times to get rid of the toxic fumes that are created from the glue. Don't breathe any of the air. Also, I wouldn't recommend filling this up with more than 80 PSI. I've painted every part of this except for the pipe because when you paint the pipe it gets sticky. So I've only painted the beginning and not the end as much because I'm going to be grabbing the end. Now I'm going to show you how to put it on. First, you're going to take the strap on the bottom and you're going to step through that. Then, feed it up to the rest of your body. Turning it around, taking the backpack strap in your hand. Put on the other strap. Then, cinch the system against your waist so that it's tight. Take the strap from the back, loop it so that it's catching this end bit, put it 
under your leg and try and take a safety pin, commit to yourself. Then that should be held tight against you. Now you're ready. You can just take the system and use it. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video this week. I had fun making it, although it was really difficult to figure out how to do. This is actually the second one I built, uh, so the first one's a little worse, you know. Figured out all the kinks. Um, I'm sorry there isn't an example of me using this. Uh, it's really cold, we're still in winter, and the water is not something I want to be swimming in. But, still hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, comment down below what you want me to make next. Like, subscribe, I'm outie.